what they say, down in New Orleans where the blues are born, it takes a cool cat to blow a horn. Well, it also takes a cool chef to stew a roux, and we've got one for you this morning. Legendary New Orleans chef Kevin Belton joins us this morning, cooking up something good to eat. Chef Kevin, welcome to it WBRZ. It is such a pleasure. It's great it to have you a, here. Man, it's good to be here, uh -huh. you know, and, and stinking up the place. Oh, God. Making it smell good. The whole good. station smells great. This before we get started on the recipe, I gotta ask you, you sure. know, fall is around the corner. What's your all time favorite fall recipe? A good soup. Ah. A good soup, yeah. I've got some I've got some soups we're gonna be making uh -huh. coming up. How about a lasagna soup? Oh. Tailgating cheeseburger soup? A good potato soup? What do you think? Well you're going Italian this morning, right? We are. We're gonna do a Tuscan chicken. You know, and this is one of those dishes where if you, if you like chicken breast or if you like chicken thighs, I like thighs. So basically, I took the chicken thighs, I seasoned them with a little bit of my Creole seasoning, mm -hmm. put in some Italian seasoning, a little thyme, a little basil, a little oregano, put that in, marinate it overnight. And now I'm caramelizing onions. Okay? And, and you know, everybody's got a pot like this in South Louisiana, right? You have to. You know, if you didn't <laughs> inherit it from grandma, you need to buy grandma one so you can not inherit it from her. That's a great idea. I gotta do that. Okay. In Louisiana, we can't go without a little garlic. So a lot of garlic. A okay, lot of garlic. Okay, okay, huh? okay. We'll get a lot, of garlic, a lot of garlic in. How about some sun-dried tomatoes? Now, this is one of those dishes where, you know, like Louisiana cooking, the longer it cooks, the more the flavors blend together? Similar here. So we'll get our spinach in. We're going to wilt this down, if I can get it in the pot, as opposed to on the stove. But we're going to wilt this down, and then we'll move on to our next phase. But this is something that everybody can do at home, you know? It's football season, holidays are coming up, get together with family and friends. That's what we do in Louisiana. We visit over food. For more on this recipe and all of Chef Kevin's recipes, head to our website, WBRZ.com. We are serving them up at WBRZ.com. Bonjour, or should I say buongiorno? Yeah, because we are cooking up something Italian this morning with the legendary New Orleans chef. Here he is. Kevin Belton joins us once again. How are you doing this morning? I'm great. You know what we're going to have to change? We're right. going to have to change it. I'm going to have to become Capital City Chef. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, you want me to introduce you? I can introduce no, you again. Okay. No, no, Here he yeah. is, the legend. No, okay. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But look, we've already got the chicken done. and you, got the chicken you've done. You've been stirring up that spinach. and Let me tell you you've got what. everything in the pot. You decided to go with a lot of garlic. Ooh, I like and that's, Ooh, I like but, that, but gang, we, had, we, we sauteed the chicken off. We put in the garlic. We put in the, the roasted, the, the sun-dried tomatoes, and our spinach, spinach doesn't take long to wield at all. So now we can go in with some Parmesan cheese, a little heavy cream. Oh, man, heavy cream. That's really going to, really going to make it rich. The other thing about this cream, what's going to happen is any little goodies, when we browned off our chicken, any little goodies that got stuck on the bottom of the pan, that's going to come up. So that's why I'm using a wooden spatula just work in the bottom of the pan. Good tip there, yeah. Just to get those little goodies up off the bottom of the pan. Oh, you've you got know, a lot of goodies in that pan. And, yeah. and we really haven't seasoned this mm -hmm. much because we seasoned our chicken. Mm -hmm. So on our chicken, we did Creole seasoning. We did some Italian seasoning with basil and oregano. So now what we want to do, sir, if you would, mm -hmm. take the tongs. Let's get our chicken. We're going to nestle our chicken oh, back in there. now. You. We're using thighs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a breast fan, I would suggest to folks, take your chicken breast, place it on a cutting board, put your hand on it flat, and then take your knife and split them in half. And I like the size of the thighs, the way you, cook, you cut them here. Yeah, Yeah, made them a little, little smaller. Is enough? That way they cook or you want to do them all? Oh, we're going to might as well do them all. Look, <laughs> you see how many people are watching, walking through this studio? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, gonna, we're not going to have enough. We're gonna, not going to have enough. They're going to talk about us. Yes, I know. You know, that's what they said about the, about the fish and the bread. You know, mm -hmm. you're not going to have enough. And you know what? Let's get some of this little gravy down in there. Oh, man. But this is going to nestle down in there, and this is going to cook. So while this cooks, tell you what, we'll get started with dessert when we come back. How about that? You got it. For more on this delicious recipe and all of Chef Kevin's recipe, Head to our website, WBRZ.com. Yeah, we're serving them up on WBRZ.com. Coming up, wait till you see what we have for dessert. You'll be saying, c'est bon à manger. It's good to eat. Stay with us. Tuning continues right after this. 
We are cooking up something good to eat with legendary Capital City Chef. Here he is, <laughs> the one, the only, Chef Kevin Belton. And we got to have dessert. we got to have dessert. We've got this delicious Italian dish. we got to have some dessert. And you don't have a sweet tooth, do you? Well. You'd rather go savory. You can, oh, yeah, but you can convince me. I can convince you? Okay. <laughs> Look, basically, I took a stick of butter, three-quarter cup granulated sugar. Basically, just blended it to smooth it out. What I have here is an egg. And you know, this egg might look a little funny, but I have vanilla and I have a little coconut extract in there. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, you know, I just put it all together because we're just gonna smooth this together right quick. You know what's interesting is, you know, when grandmother made this type things, they didn't have all the newfangled items like we do. You know, they didn't have the mixers and all they of that. They did it by hand, man. They did it by hand. You remember using grandma's that egg mix when you had to beat eggs? Well, it had all these ingredients, but a lot of love. A lot of love. And that's the most important thing for any Louisiana ingredient. Yep. A little bit of flour with a little baking soda in it. Now, maybe I should have used a bigger bowl. Come on out of there. We just want to mix this together. And you know, this is something I always believe in getting the kids involved in, in the kitchen. This is something that you can get the kids involved in. Yeah, especially because around the holidays. Huh? Yeah. Once we get this worked in, and you'll see this, it doesn't look, it looks very dry right now, but this is gonna come together where it's gonna be a little sticky. And that's when we're gonna go in with things typically found in Alma Joy, coconut and chocolate. So we have some chocolate chips. You can use uh, a semi-sweet, you can use a mini chocolate chip if you want, you can use a dark chocolate. Use the chocolate chip that's in the pantry, okay? So I really should have had a bigger bowl. You know, you tell yourself, no, it'll be fine. No, it won't. And you're right. Most of the ingredients you have here, are, you probably have them at home in the pantry. In the pantry. Yeah. The other thing I'm using is some almonds. Now, with the almonds, I decided to use a smoked almond. Ah. You know, if now, you... Now, do you smoke your own almonds? Or no, you... no, I take them, you, know, you can buy them that way. Oh, yeah. Just for a little mm. different flavor. You wouldn't think about it in a dessert, Got but a look, smoky flavor, yeah. we're just going to get all of this mixed together. We're going to put in our almonds. We're going to put in our coconut, our chocolate chips. I promise you, there will be cookies, gang. And wait till you see these cookies. Wait till you taste these cookies. They're the bomb. Get you some milk. For more on all these special recipes, all of Chef Kevin's recipes, head to our website, WBRZ.com. That's WBRZ.com. We are back in the kitchen serving up something good to eat with my good friend here, the one, the only, legendary Capital City chef, Chef Kevin Belton. Now we're doing what you like to do most in the kitchen is to hey, eat and visit. It's about the visit. Yeah. You know, it really doesn't matter what's on the table, it's who's at the table. Uh -huh. And this is something that, gang, everyone at home, they could do these dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, we took chicken thighs, seasoned them with a little Creole seasoning, a little Italian seasoning, basil, oregano, you could put them in time, put in the flavors that you like. I put in it overnight, marinated the chicken overnight, then in the pan, get it hot, a little oil, brown off the chicken, take it out, go in with some onions that are sliced or diced and caramelize them, go in with sun-dried tomatoes, we put in some spinach, of course a lot of garlic. <laughs> yeah, and, and, it's, and a, it's an impressive dish, it's a very pretty dish. We let that cook down. And then we went in with our spinach once it's sauteed and with heavy cream and put our chicken back in it and let it cook. It's a great fall dish. I mean, yes. It, it, yes. Coming up, this is a, you know, you want to impress your family, friends, or whatever, you know, this now, is it. This we served this over pasta. You could serve it over rice. And you know, usually with this much sauce, I didn't give you a whole lot of sauce because I know you're trying to watch your figure like I am. You know, the doctor says, watch your weight. The, I figure the more there is, the better I can watch it. But I used a penne and I used a fusilli. <laughs> Because this way, those are type pastas that help catch sauce. Yeah. Okay. You are so fusilli. You ever get that? Oh, thank you. you, get you, that, thank yeah, you. yeah, I you am get so fusilli. You get that all the time. Look, yeah. you take a bite if you want, and I'll tell them about the, the, the cookies. Oh, God. Because the Almond Joy cookies, if you all like, if you all like Almond Joy candy bars, it's chocolate and coconut. So with the cookies, it's butter, sugar, flour, little baking soda, and then, of course, chocolate chips almonds, 
and coconut. And an egg with a little coconut extract and vanilla. Yeah, the key word there is joy because after you taste one of these, you're going to feel some joy. Huh? That's what it's all about. This but is you like know, Grandma used to make. Yeah. That's what it is. You know, we both grew up, we Louisianians. We grew up watching our grandmothers cook. That's where we learned it from. And that's what it's all about. It's passing it on to that next generation. So for those kids that are watching, you know, before school or after school if they're homesick, this is something that hopefully they'll tell their parents, hey, I watched this today. Can we make it? And they can. Uh -huh. Grandmas who didn't have a lot, but they had a lot when it came to creativity in the kitchen. And in one of the other segments, you said the best ingredient mm -hmm. is love. It is love. That's the secret ingredient to any cooking. What's great? Love. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. For more on all of these delicious recipes, all of Chef Kevin's recipes, head to our website, WBRZ.com. After you try this, you'll be saying, C'est bon à manger. It's good to eat. Time to eat. Stay with us. Tuning continues right after this.